Hi, good morning and shalom. I'm Yosef Livne. I'm the new Israeli ambassador to Wellington, to New Zealand. And this is my first opportunity to chat with you, our internet friends. Let me tell you something about myself, my background. I'm extremely proud that I come from a family with deep roots in Israel. In fact, one of my forefathers was among those who had come from the town of Tzfat, and founded the village of Roshpina in the Upper Galilee. Both my grandfathers had played significant roles in our nation-building process. One was an important industrialist and belonged to a group of people who had set in motion the building of the city of Ramat Gan. My other grandfather was known for his special ties to the Arab population in the southern Sharon region and his contribution to public transportation in mandatory Palestine. My father served as a soldier in the British Army during World War II, later became a member of the City Council of Tel Aviv. I have no doubt that these roots must have planted in me the seeds that later in life led me to choose public service as an Israeli diplomat. Life as a diplomat brings you face to face with different realities and experiences. As a young diplomat in Chile, it was my privilege to play a part in building ties with those people who later replaced the military dictatorship and went on to become legislators and decision makers in democratic Chile. As ambassador to El Salvador back in 1993, I became the first Israeli diplomat to establish contact with the FMLN, the heretofore guerrilla organization, in its first steps as a legitimate political party political differences notwithstanding. Those early steps have contributed to a mature relationship of mutual respect. I am very proud of my success in naming a major avenue in the capital city of San Salvador after Jerusalem in honor of its 3,000th anniversary. At the same time, I derive deep satisfaction from having initiated a variety of activities that have contributed to the process of rebuilding that nation after long years of civil war. Among those, I remember the month-long training offered by Israeli police officers to the newly established police force. I think of dozens of trainees who had traveled to Israel and to Israeli institutes, and many more who participated in courses in El Salvador. My close relationship with Latin America reached a peak when I was appointed ambassador to Mexico. During my tenure there, several achievements come to mind. In my opinion, the most significant project has been the joint effort with Asaf Harofe Hospital in Israel, which brought several Israeli ophthalmologists to the impoverished state of Chiapas. In two missions, in two consecutive years, these doctors have returned eyesight to over 400 people who had lost all hope of ever seeing their loved ones again. Mexico and Israel are both living museums of history. Obeyed their past is different. I felt there was a common ground and initiated what I hope will become a permanent feature of meetings between archaeologists of the two countries. More recently at home and in line with the growing importance of that country, I played a role in promoting the realization of an academic seminar on Brazil in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. In short, my long years in the diplomatic service have brought me face to face with different realities and very interesting experiences. I'm looking forward to my years in New Zealand with the same commitment and fervor in trying to build new bridges between our two countries and two peoples. Thank you.